Yo, what's headed down, guys? This is Arkir or Marquise, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a professional sort of Cinema 4D text color. Now, this is just a new profile. Everything is new. You know, I have it at render settings, nothing preset or anything. So, let's head it right into it. And what you're going to want to do first is t go to the render settings. Um, you know, it's personally, if your name is short for your YouTube, then make it short um, preset. But I go to film and video and do 25. So once you have 25, you could go ahead and hit that save button over here. And once you have that, you are now going to go to TIFF, PSD layers, or formats. And you're going to go down to PNG and you're going to hit alpha channel. Now I wanted to save this as, um, let's save it as tutorial. Tutor, I'll just put tut or tutorial. There we go. Uh, desktop save and it's not going to save it onto your desktop as you can see nothing there and this is pretty much what we're going to be making today a good Lightroom text so let's head right into it so what you're going to want to do is head right into Cinema 4D and did what I just did right there take the alpha channel once you have that and uh, put it to where you want to save it and the name um, and just so you could find it very easy so um, yeah this is very very easy as I said so let's just uh, do this real fast. We're gonna hit the X button right there, and you're gonna end up with this thing. And now you're gonna hit Mo Graph right next to Render, Mo Text, uh, or Mo Text, whatever. And uh, how convenient is this gonna be if I could actually do that too? Worry, oh, I'm a slow typer. So once you have that, uh, I like putting in the depth at 90 or 100. Um, 90 is my best, and I like to put this at 3. And uh, once you have that, you're going to choose your font. And uh, this isn't very hard. Whatever font you really think looks best. What I really think looks best is the press board JL. Look that up, press board JL. Okay. Do have that. Um, now you have your t text already, you know, everything. So these black bars right here, you have to have the text inside those black bars or else it's not going to save the whatever is inside the black bars so be sure that the text is right dead smack in the middle of that and everything is showing and it's not behind the black bars or transparent bars so we're going to go ahead and zoom in here and uh, you're gonna choose three different materials so you're gonna choose material like my control N doesn't work for some reason so please excuse me and you're going to choose the color of the text that you want so say if I wanted a greenish let's see here let's see here there you go let's say if I wanted a greenish not a yellowish a greenish there we go say if I want a neon green and you got neon green so then once you have the uh, text or just do the MAT text color you're going to go to the next um, material and what you're going to do is turn off color and turn off specular now uh, I forgot to do something and this is very very key to what you're going to have to do to make it look good so be sure you have this and turn off everything basically that's all you have to do so let's go back over here I don't like specular on so let's turn off specular and we have to actually turn on reflection and don't change any colors up there just put the brightness to 75 and there you go so once you have that you're going to go to the other one other material MAT2 and once you have that you are going to now um, you're going to now put it to luminance and you're going to turn off the color and turn off the specular now this is very awesome too and it is very key so <clears throat> let's go ahead and uh, drag these over here so you're not going to use the white one yet MAT2 you're going to grab the green text and you're going to put it right there and once you render that thing out it's not going to look as good you know so what you're going to do is click on that MO T text or whatever MO text then go to caps now you're gonna go to cap for the start and end and you're gonna put fill a cap so then you put fill a cap for this one also and there you go so then once you have that now you're going to drag these um, the black one and the black one again and uh, this is very key so what you want to do is basically go to selection for you just click on the black ones any one really and I'm gonna do R1 for the first one and R2 
for the second one. Now wait until you see how much of a difference it's going to make. Look at that. So now you have this pretty cool thing over here. So once you have that, um, what you're going to do is since you have a reflection there and you want to make it look good, of course you are going to now go to objects and you're going to primitive. You're going to go to a plane or you could just hit this. Mine doesn't work for some reason. It just doesn't. I don't know why. But um, anyways, what you want to do is uh, right click that and what you want to do is go to scale and you're going to move it around here. Going to make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Um, let's make that a little bit out, sort of like this. And let's look at that view from above. That looks pretty nice. And make sure, let's just bring this down a little bit because, uh, oh, I'm scaling it still, but let's just make it big. Um, let's zoom out here and let's go ahead and move that over here. There we go. Okay, so once you have that, uh, make sure it's um, a bit below this, and make sure the height. Um, you know, you know what I'm talking about. So, the height is basically under the floor, and you're going to go ahead and right-click on that yet again. You're going to hit to move as you did before. You're going to bring that down a little bit more. So look at your TV screen or your screen, whatever, and whatever, calculate the length, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, it doesn't really have to be that perfect. So what you're going to do is click on this. Be sure you have that clicked, and you're going to hit copy, and you're going to hit edit paste. And once you have that pasted, now you have another plane, and you're going to put it up again. But you're going to put it a little bit higher than last time. Yeah, I know. And pretty freaky. And you're going to now... Um, what you're going to do now is, I'm sorry for the coughing and stuff, is you're going to make it bigger by expanding it. Wow, it's a big surprise, right? Expand it like that. There you go. So once you have that, now what you're going to do is do edit, copy, and paste. And once you have another one, you're going to go ahead and right click that and you're going to hit rotate. And you're gonna rotate it more of like a 35 degree angle something like that or you could do it a little bit lower and what you could do then since you have it like that as a bit of a shine to it and to add that shine since it does not have a shine as you can see it doesn't have a shine yet but what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and go to MAT2 and you're going to drag it into the plane you gonna drag it into the plane you gonna drag it into the plane there you go so once you have that, then you have this. Now it's not completely done. Remember that. Um, I'm gonna drag this in front, and then we have to drag this in back. Hold on a second. It takes a little bit to do this, I know. So to make it out of that shine, there you go. Um, we're not finished yet, though. See how it has that nice shine? Yeah, you know, you know, I like it, and. <laughs> Uh, let's go to move here and what you want to do if you want to make this way better is hit the objects and I think the light I don't use this as much so yeah there you go it's on the scene and you have to go to light and once you have the light you could just adjust the light if you want um, if you want it to look like that sort of then you could do that you know it doesn't really matter it's personal preference you know uh, you don't have to always copy somebody else, you know. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that again. I think that probably looks the best for me. So I may go with that or I may put it on the bottom. Hold on a second. Let's check this out here. Let's check this out here. Okay. Let's bring the light up a little bit. I think I, I, think I liked it like that. And we're going to bring it back here and yeah I think that looks the best so let me adjust this color here because I don't like that color went ahead and put it to light blue here like light blue light blue is awesome it's gonna look like that it's pretty sick right guys so um, if you want to save it make sure it's not in the highlighted bars as I said before and you're gonna put it dead in the middle and what I do is I line up 
here I'll use my mouse I line up the middle with the 50 mark right here and then what I do is move the text over from the middle then I'll grab this move wait <laughs> I'll take that and then I'll move this over to the middle there you go you have your text which looks pretty sick now um that's all you have to do <laughs> so if you want to make a really cool one then all you have to do like a background or something this is just for you know if you want to make a watermark or something don't keep on watching if you're done and you want to do this then just go ahead but I'm gonna go ahead and head on to the uh, the desktop background picture tutorial so what you want to do is you want to go to objects primitive and you're gonna go ahead, go ahead to actually not primitive my bad you're going to go to scene and you're gonna do a floor once you have that floor now what you're going to do is go up oh that thing's in the way so what you're gonna do with the floor is go ahead and scale it and you're gonna make it really big very very wide like that and once you have that you're going to go ahead and move it Okay. There we go. There. So once you have the floor down, and you know you have your floor down, you could have any kind of angle on it really, and you could uh, render it out, see what it looks like. And if you want the floor to be shining, also you grab a completely new material you're gonna go ahead and turn on reflection and you're gonna go ahead and do something like that and bring that into the floor and once you have that now you have a reflection it's pretty cool looking right but you're not finished yet so what you're going to do is you know you could have a color on the reflection or not um, doesn't really matter and then what you're going to do is go to objects and then when you have objects you're going to go to scene oh yeah not scene yeah scene you're going to go to sky and whatever color you want the sky to be then you have that color so I want the sky to be a new material that is blue <clears throat> and it's going to be a light blue so go ahead and make that light blue for a second there we go so once we have the light blue effect actually what we're gonna do yeah we could just have it as that we're going to go to the sky and we're going to go ahead and do that so it looks something like that hold on a second <coughs> sorry about that so now it has that blue effect like that ocean effect you know what I mean you're gonna go ahead and render that out again look at that look how cool that looks and uh, you're gonna go ahead and do that and there you go so if you wanted to have that like transparent look or something like that then you could have that and um, if you want to do this which I love doing is you could take the T and the O and you could go ahead and lean them a little bit so you're gonna move this one to the left actually hold on a second I'm going to move this one to the left and you're gonna have like the U tilt so you're gonna go ahead and scale it actually not scale it rotate it and you could like make it tilt I love doing that and then you could have like a block under it or something holding it up it's I think that's probably the best way that you could do it possibly <clears throat> and uh, yeah it looks pretty cool at the end so if you guys would like to see more tutorials such as this one then you guys can go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the top and request for more I answer to all things basically and uh, yeah I'll be teaching you guys how to do an intro if I get enough likes on this video not to turn into one of those subscriber whores but <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, let's go ahead and scale this up. We'll actually mo rotate it a little bit. Well, like, 
do these cool patterns with it, I guess. I don't know. Then we could take the R. We could go ahead and we could like do this sort of thing to it. You know, there's a bunch of possibilities, really. And you know, you can make it look different. Um, you know, that's because there's a plane at the top that's making it look like that. But, you know, doesn't matter. So I'll catch you guys later. And all you have to do is hit that render button right there. And there you go. Look at that. And you can do some Photoshop stuff with it. So I'll catch you guys later in the next video. Peace.